This is the final video of the 30 day automation challenge. It's a bit bittersweet to be honest, but there will be more videos, don't worry. Hope you've enjoyed it and thank you to everyone who's come along on this journey and who shared questions or thoughts or their own automations. I've loved hearing about the automations people have built and how they're being leveraged to increase their productivity. I thought I'd end in one of my favorite automations that I've built for, for a client. It um, is an automation to take data from a URL. And you can see that at the beginning here, we are using a Google Sheet, so you can input a URL manually, but you could replace this with an RSS feed. And the next module that we ha have is something called Appify. Now, if you've never used Appify before, it's a web scraping service, incredibly powerful because now they have AI empowered, what they call actors, which can actually scrape data using ChatGPT. And if you've ever done web scraping before, you may have found that it can be quite hard to get specific information when you're not using AI. AI has completely changed this game and within this actor, they're asking for the post title, post URL and points count. I don't know what points count is, but in any case, you can change this and ask for the author, the publication date, even an AI summary of this URL. And so that's what we're doing there. We are running this Appify actor, and this is just a loop to check when this actor has finished running. If it hasn't finished running, it then just repeats. It goes back to sleep and just repeats this um, until it does. If it once it is completed, it then uploads all of the information into the Google Sheet. So it could have post title, post URL, uh, the author, the publication date, and the summary. And then we have a little fallback here. And what happens here is if any of the fields are incomplete, because sometimes it does miss a component. So say the date is incomplete, it will fill in today's date. And if any of the other components are incomplete, it actually does a manual HTTP request, then passes that, and then again uses AI to identify the missing component in a more manual manner, and then adds that to Google Sheets. So. I love the look of this <laughs> automation. I think they can, you know, almost become work of art. And there's a really fun little button that you can sp click your explain flow and it animates your automation with it, which I think is pretty fun as well. <laughs> if you ever want to look at how your automation works. So I really appreciate everyone joining me on this journey and I hope you have learned a bit about automations and started experimenting how you can incorporate them into your organization or into your own personal life. I'll definitely continue sharing more videos in the future. So subscribe if you're on YouTube or follow me if you're on LinkedIn and I look forward to sharing more automations. This is just the beginning, but um, the end of the 30 day challenge. So as always, any questions, please feel free to let me know. If you found something particularly useful from this automation challenge, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, we'll continue in the next video.